Hi there, and thanks for clicking. Um, if you're new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and like the video, all that good stuff. Um, if you're not new to my channel, um, I'm very sorry for the hiatus. I know it's been a long time, but um, we actually had a COVID exposure at work. So I had to quarantine and then get tested for COVID um, before I was able to return to work. And then when I was able to return to work, a lot of the people uh, still weren't. So I've been working like pretty much double shifts like and I've been working every single day. So um, cause not a lot of people to work. So I've been like super busy at work every single day. Um, and when I get home, I just don't really feel like sitting down and filming. And um, I really just wanted to wait until I had like a really big haul to finally film a video. And I worked in the morning today. It's about, um, what time is it right now? It's about, uh, okay, the clock, sir. I never sent my clock back. So it's 5.54 right now. It's already like pitch dark outside. And I got home and I was like, you know what? I still have some energy. I will just film my video today. So yeah, I have a huge haul for you guys. I have two boxes full of stuff and like more candles over here. So this this haul is gonna be from um, when they had all the body wash and shower gels for like $4.95. It's gonna be for that sale. Um, they had like all the uh, moisturizers for like $4.95 or something like that. Um, that's, I got that um, sale in there. I got, um, some when they had the fine fragrance fine fragrance mist for five dollars i have some of those so i have like every sale imaginable in here the bogo candle sale like basically this is my haul from like the past month like all of october um basically is in these boxes so you know what? let's just jump right into it because it's gonna be it's gonna take a while so we're gonna start with the candles so i got these candles um when the bogo was happening so the buy one get one three wick candles it's right when all the Christmas candles came out at my store, and I picked out the salted caramel or caramel eggnog, which is really, really good. Mmm. That one smells really good. So it doesn't exactly smell like eggnog. It more smells like the salt it smells like the salted caramel. And it has like a hint of like um like people did say this smells like buttered popcorn. And I could kind of and I can kind of see that because the notes are gooey caramel, fresh sea salt. Dolce de Leche and sweet whipped cream. So I think the salt is kind of like really overpowering in this. And maybe that's why people are getting the popcorn scent. Ew, there's like a little bit of wax on there or something. I haven't, um, I, ha I, I haven't burned this candle. So, um, yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of wax. Um, that's gross, but whatever. So I got that one. And then I picked up the gingerbread marshmallow. I have burned this one. It's pretty good. I would say the marshmallow note isn't as strong. You really just get the gingerbread. But the notes are gingerbread spice, eggnog. Okay, so there's, okay. So there's an eggnog scent in this one, but not this one? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to question the things I do. Spiced rum, vanilla frosting, brown sugar crystal. So yeah, this one kind of smells like um, a gingerbread cookie with like a little bit of icing on it. So that one's pretty good. Gingerbread marshmallow. Um, these two candles I actually did not buy. I got them in my... We did spooky baskets at work for Halloween. So it's kind of like a secret Santa gift basket, but it's like supposed to be like all Halloween themed. And in my basket, she got me two candles. So I got the white pumpkin, which I haven't tried. And I was um, excited about that. Pretty cinnamony. Um, it has the pumpkin smell too. It has like a nice, fresh, pure pumpkin smell. Set notes are white pumpkin, autumn spice blend, and ground cinnamon. So I really like this one. That's a good pick. And then she got me my favorite, which is Vampire Blood. This is my favorite, um, like, Halloween or, like, fall candle. I absolutely love Vampire Blood. It smells so good. Uh, keynotes on this one are Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Transylvanian Plum. And you know I already burned this. Burned it um, last night for Halloween and a couple, and I think the night I got it, I burned it too as well. So those are four candles down. I think I have four more <laughs> and the four I have are ones that actually came in the the most recent BOGO candle sale um oh wait has there only been one sale maybe these are all from the same sale but the, the gingerbread and eggnog I bought those in store these ones I bought online I and mean, it took a week to come in a whole week so I picked up the frosted cranberry just like a nice classic Christmas smell um, it's not as, like, overpowering, not overpowering, it's not as strong as it usually is, I feel like, this year. Like, the notes are kind of muted. 
like I smell the cranberry, that's about it. So I got iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tonka beans. So usually it's a little bit stronger. Um, and it's it's a white barn one too, so it's weird that it's not that strong, but that's that one. And then I picked up a thanks and giving because I really, really love the wallflower. I actually still have it plugged in right behind my couch behind me. This is a nice one too. It has juicy red apple, gooey caramel, and praline pieces. I love anything with apple and caramel. I love the bakery sense, the foody bakery sense. So that's that one. And then the last two we have are pumpkin cupcake. Purchased this with a BOGO. It, the, the cute little design doesn't go all the way around though. I, they get lazy after a while. So, and it has like the plain lid with my fingerprints all over it. So pumpkin cupcake, love this one. I fell in love with this one when I got the uh, room spray and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So, and I have the pocket back and the, um, the wallflower now as well. So yeah, pumpkin cupcake, that one smells really good. It's whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice and freshly baked cupcake. So yeah, that one's really nice. So pumpkin cupcake. And the last candle I have is spiced apple toddy, which I used to love. I smelled it. Um, I don't know if I like it anymore. I don't know what it is. I think it might be the plum. No, because there's plum in, I don't know. But something in here um, is just throwing me off this year. It's like, I don't know. It has almost like a dusty smell to it. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not really into this candle this year. So if I burn it and I don't like it still, then I might give this um, to my sister as a Christmas gift. She won't care that it's been burned once. She's 15, so she does not care if um, it's been burned one time. So those are all the candles. Um, the next sale we'll hop into is the Fine Fragrance Mist. Oh my God, we're already seven minutes in. Okay. Fine fragrance mist, I gotta just go really fast. So I got Frosted Cranberry. This one's really nice. I love the smell of cranberry. Okay, so this one doesn't smell like the candle, okay? This one smells a little bit sweeter. So we got Frosted Cranberry, um, White Pumpkin and Chai. I had to try this one. This one, this one's pretty good. Yeah, this one's nice. It kind of reminds me, okay, so the chai kind of smells like the Vanilla Mocha Cafe. So it's kind of like, Pumpkin and Vanilla Mocha Cafe mixed together for that one. Uh, I picked up a Black Cherry Merlot. Just a classic smell. Love this one. Yep, Black Cherry Merlot. Dark Cherry, Black Raspberry, Sumptuous Merlot. I picked up a Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte to potentially give away as a gift. Just because it was $5 and a lot of people like it. I'm not too crazy about it. But if I can give it away as a Christmas gift um, or a birthday gift, then I'll do that. So yeah, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. We have a, oh, okay, so this isn't from the uh, the uh, the uh, sale. These are just ones that I had bought online for myself. I used um, rewards for these. So I have the gingerbread latte and the fine fragrance mist. The cream is also coming in the mail. This one's really, really nice. Classic Christmas scent. Um, It's technically like retired, but they bring it back every single year online as an online exclusive, which I'm pretty sure they're going to do the same thing with Christmas cookies. I think they might be retiring it and having it as an online exclusive only because it's right now it says that these are both island online exclusives for the entire line and they don't have a shower gel yet for Christmas cookies. So I'm looking forward to that because I, I don't really care about the gingerbread latte um, shower gel. I really like the Christmas cookies. Then I picked up a fresh sparkling snow. This is one I haven't tried before. It's iced pear, frozen melon, winter apple, snowdrop blossom, and frosted musk. Oh, this one's nice. It's really, it's a really fresh scent. And it's um, it's not like a too perfumey. It has a little bit of perfume from that blossom and the musk, but it smells really nice. So fresh sparkling snow, and the packaging is adorable. I really love. You can see like the iridescent um, snowflakes, love that. Um, okay, so that's all the mists. Next, we will jump into the, um, when they had all their moisturizers for like $4.95 or something like that. So it was like the body butters, um, the, the, the creams, the lotions, all that stuff. I think it was in stores only because I, I went to the stores to buy all this stuff. And I got the blueberry moisturizing body wash with the blueberry extract. I love this smell. It smells so good. I really wish they had this in a scrub. So I got blueberry and then I obviously had to get 
strawberry to match. All right, hold on. There is something, there is like a hair. Okay, there was like a cat hair in my nose, driving me nuts. All right, so then I had to get the strawberry to match. Love this one too. It's very um, natural smells to these. They don't really have scent notes. It's just made with the extract. They're very natural. Um, they're not too perfumey. Um, I, I actually like the strawberry one more, I think, because this one smells like a like um, one of those Welch's fruit snacks. So I really like that one. I picked up a Hello Beautiful moisturizing body wash because I had the scrub of this and I really, really loved it. So I figured like I would like it in the body wash too. And yeah, it smells really good. The notes on this are white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. I don't care for the cream or the spray in this, but for some reason, like, I love the body wash and the scrub of this. So I got that. Um, I also picked up... Wait, wait, wait. I'm showing you the wrong sale. <laughs> this is... This is all the sh this is the shower gel and the body wash sale. Okay, sorry guys. Like I said, I have twenty different hauls in this video. Um, I got Sunset Glow. I picked up the moisturizing body wash, and I was like, wait a second, these weren't on sale. So yeah, I got Sunset Glow and the moisturizing body wash because I really like this smell. And I think I only have the mini shower gel. Or you know what? I might need. I might not even have a shower gel of this. So I so I picked up that. That's just like a classic. Um, well, now it's gonna be a classic scent. Um. Okay, for other shower gels. Okay, so I got the blueberry and strawberry in the shower gel as well. So I have it in the moisturizing body wash and the shower gel. Mm. Yeah, I really like the strawberry one. This one definitely has like a pure, fresh, sweet strawberry smell. Blueberry doesn't smell exactly exactly like blueberries. Like I wouldn't, I don't, I'm not gonna smell this blindfolded and be like, oh, it's blueberries, you know. But it smells good. So I got those. Then I picked up um, some shower gels online. This was from the shower gel sale, right? <laughs> okay, I, did, I buy, did I really buy that many shower gels for this sale? Oh my goodness. All right, I think I did. So then I bought some shower gels online. I bought Frosted Cranberry, which is really a uh, really good one that I can see because I have it in everything. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, one of my favorite smells. Uh, whipped almond vanilla, which I have not tried yet. I'm very excited to. It's sweet almonds, whipped vanilla musk, and marshmallow lavender. I usually don't like marshmallow lavender, so we'll see how this goes. So I got that one. And I picked up the pink velvet cupcake shower gel. So those are all the shower gels from the sale. Um, I did get two creams from that, from the moisturizing body sale. And it was the black cherry merlot. Bought this online and I bought the gingham. I bought the gingham in store. Cause that was when they were kind of trans um they didn't have any of the Christmas scents out and they were kind of transitioning into like the newer fall stuff. And I wasn't really into it. So so I just picked up some like smells that I've been like wanting to try or like wanting to collect. I like to collect the gingham stuff. So I got that. And then I did grab three body butters in my store when they had that sale. And I grabbed, they had four of them. They had golden sunflower, Japanese cherry blossom, strawberry, and warm vanilla sugar. And I got them all except for the warm vanilla sugar because I'm not really into that scent. And I don't really know anyone that like loves it. It's kind of just like a plain scent. I didn't really want to give that away as a gift. If I don't like it, I don't like to gift it to other people unless it's something that's like super popular, like really, really popular. So I picked up the golden sunflower. Oops body butter it smells really good really strong floral scent on this one so we got golden sunflower japanese cherry blossom another strong floral scent i'm not crazy about this one either but i'll use it you know i'll use it it's not my favorite but it, it's not like i hate it and this one is made with i guess it's supposed to be like japanese themed so it's made with like shea butter and rice milk and the last one I got is strawberry, which comes in this really cute container. I really like this packaging. I've used this before, and it smells like Yoplait yogurt. Like strawberry Yoplait yogurt is exactly what it smells like. And I've been tempted to eat it a few, a few times. I'm not going to. Don't worry. I'm not crazy. But, um, like, you know when you, like, smell something and your mouth waters? That's what happens when I smell this. <laughs> My mouth just starts watering. 
So that was the body butters I picked up. Pretty good deal on those. I also picked up more today online because, you know, we had the uh, 650 all body care. So, you know, I picked up a few body, or I think I picked up one body butter, the champagne toast. All right, now we're going to move into um, the Christmas stuff. So I did like a Christmas haul recently and I used a bunch of my rewards. So I got two scrub, or I got a couple scrubs. I got the vanilla bean Noel and the winter candy apple. Winter Candy Apple is my favorite smell of all time. My number one Bath & Body Works scent is Winter Candy Apple. Really, really love this one. So I got that, and I got Vanilla Bean Noel because it's also a really good Christmas scent. It's just a classic, so I picked that up. Then I also got um, the Champagne Toast Celestial Body Scrub. This is actually, they actually took this offline and off the shelves for um, to repackage it because this part right here, um, was coming off in people's showers when it was getting wet, but I don't really mind as long as the product um, stays intact That's all I really care about. I don't mind if it gets rubbed off I'm not gonna return it um, or anything unless like like I said the products inside was damaged That's the only way I'll ever return it. I'm not like too picky about the packaging um, And then I got a Japanese cherry blossom just because I had a reward. I love to collect the scrubs I'll use it eventually. This one is also made with the uh, rice milk we got that one then we have a perfect peony i know this is this, this these ones aren't christmas but these are ones i picked up um when i bought all the scrubs perfect peony i love this in the shower i had the moisturizing body wash and i fell in absolute love with it so i knew i had to get the scrub the um the keynotes on this one are pink lady apple sorbet peony and vanilla sandalwood really really good smell i love pe per perfect peony oh i forgot a cream Frosted cranberry. So this is, I also picked this up on the moisturizing uh, sale. This one, I feel like in the cream, it's not as strong. Okay, there we go. Now I get the smell. I can really smell the peach in there for some reason. And um, the the cranberry. So it's snow dusted cranberry, juicy peach, and ripe red raspberry. So it's super fruity, but it also has like a tart scent to it because that cranberry is like a little bit tart. So we got that. Um, another Christmas thing is the winter candy apple shower gel. Love, love, love winter candy apple. I've said this. Um, I didn't get vanilla bean Noel cause I have a couple minis of those. So I just got winter candy apple in the shower gel. Notes on this are candied red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. Seriously one of the best scents to ever exist guys for real. That one. Then I got winter candy apple in the shapeable soap. Because I thought this was really cute. I haven't used it yet. Maybe I'll do like a demo video and like a review on the Winter Candy Apple Shapeable Soap. I was going to pick um, another one up today. But I was thinking like my sister and brother are a little bit older now. They're not going to want to play in the bathtub with soap at like 12 and 15. So um, I just picked this up for myself to have. And then we have a couple more things in here and then we're done. So I have a fox loofah, which I also got in my spooky basket. Really, really cute. So soft, like a really soft loofah. It's almost like a washcloth type of material. So I got that. Definitely be using that when my loofah is expired. Um, I picked up, I had a, a coupon for a free hand cream. And of course I got the frosted cranberry. So I have frosted cranberry in the shower gel, the spray, the cream, the hand cream, the candle, um, lots of stuff. So I have that. I wonder if they have, do they have a pocket bag? I think they do, but I have not seen it at my store yet. I'll have to go on my next day off and get all the pocket bags because the only Christmas pocket bags I have are Just Chillin', which is sparkling icicles. This is really cute packaging. That's why I bought this because it's just adorable packaging. Um, fresh sparkling snow because I really liked the spray, so I figured I might as well get the pocket back. Um, you're the one, which is a brand new one, the one with like the strawberry nectar, wo winter woods, and like rose or something like that. Not too crazy about the smell, but I picked up a pocket back because you know they're just fun to collect. So I got that vanilla bean Noel. And then, of course, Winter Candy Apple. So I need to get the Frosted Coconut Snowball, Merry Cookie, um, Snowy Peach Berry, and then the um, the Frosted Cranberry one. And I think there's like a Vanilla Chai Latte somewhere out there. If I see them, I'll buy them because usually um, Bonnie said this in one of her uh, 
like recent videos, pocket bags will come into your store and then the next day they'll be gone. And then they just keep bringing more in and selling them out, bringing more in and selling them out. All right, and the last two items I have is the pocket bag holder, the gingerbread man. Super cute. I got him because he was only six bucks. Um, I didn't use a reward for him, just paid for him full price. And then I got a little candle topper, which goes on your candles. It's just like a little magnet. And it just sits there. There's a little white pumpkin. I also got this in my spooky basket. Thought that was really cute. So now I just set this on my little fall candles. And yeah, guys, that is it. That is everything in those two boxes and more. And my table, my coffee table in front of me is currently filled with stuff. You can kind of see. Um... But yeah, um, this is like my haul for the entire month of October. So sorry it took me so long to post a video, guys. Like I said, I just, I haven't had 20 minutes to sit down and just like film and all that stuff. I've just been like so, you know, focused on like work and like how I'm going to pay my bills, you know, adult stuff. So um, Thursday's my birthday. I'm going to be 25 years old. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so I'll have one more year of my mom's insurance. <laughs> um, and... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely think the th um the th favorite things that I got was um the winter candy apple body scrub. And then I really love this strawberry body butter. Like I think these are like my two favorite products that I got um this month. So because I've used the body butter a couple times. I haven't used this yet, but I just bought a backup today or today for the sale. So I'm probably gonna be popping this in my shower once I'm done with my um my oat scrub from uh, Victoria's Secret Pink. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe. Um, I also do post Among Us videos. Um, I recently got obsessed with that game. That's also another reason I haven't been posting is because I'll come home and just like play the game for like hours on end. Look up and be like, oh, it's two in the morning. Maybe I should go to bed. <laughs> So, yeah, if I have, like, other random videos, don't be alarmed. I'm still going to be doing Bath & Body Works stuff. I just got into other stuff as well. So, um, leave a comment down below. Which items of these do you have? Which ones do you love? Which ones did you not love? And what did you get from the 650 Body Carousel today? Because I got, like, nine things, and they already shipped. So, you know that when my packages come, I'm going to be filming another haul for you guys. Um, and, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching for the third time. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.